Hello everyone, and my name is Ludeus, and today I will be doing something a little bit different. I will be going over all of the LMGs currently available in Battlefield 5, going through their statistics, and figuring out which one is the best light machine gun, or which one suits which role better. And there's no better way than to start off with the KE-7. So, the KE-7 is the first LMG unlock in the support class. It's a rather reliable weapon and good for those close to mid-range engagements. First of all, this gun is already specced out for you. Once you get to rank 4 with this gun, um, I would suggest changing the specializations and go for right, left, left, right in the specialization tree. So, quick aim allows you to aim down sides faster, allowing it for a little bit more responsive in close quarters combat. Next is the Enhanced Grips, although not particularly great for LMGs, um, it allows the hip fire to be a little bit more accurate, which makes it okay in those close quarter situations when you don't think you can ADS quickly enough. Um, after that, you've got Light Bolt. Now this is the major one, because Light Bolt increases the rate of fire from 568 rounds per minute to 635, which is pretty darn quick. You can shred people very fast with this specialization and finally uh, we'll go for barrel bedding uh, this increases your accuracy while standing still so what I would suggest is when you actually have to fight someone is stop and pop so you stop and take your shots um, it's super accurate super quick and you can drop people very fast um, other stats I would say um, about this gun is it has a reload speed of 3.75 seconds, which is quite long considering it only has 25 rounds in a magazine and obviously with that 635 rounds a minute you're going to empty it very quick. So be safe when you have to reload this weapon. Also to take note that it has a pretty fast bullet velocity of about 740 meters a second, which means hitting targets at range and moving targets is quite a lot easier. Um, all I can say else with the KE-7 is the fact that it actually has the highest recoil values of all of the other LMGs but I wouldn't count it right off there because like I said in close to mid range this gun is a monster. So I guess that's really all I can say about the KE7 right now. What I would what I'm gonna do at the end of this video is go over my top picks for the LMGs that I use all the time because I am a support main, LMGs are my go-to. I might do some. Sh I might do a video on the shotguns and maybe the MMGs. MMGs, we'll see. But they they all play differently. So anyway, we'll move on to the next gun, which would be the Bren gun. So next we have the Bren gun. This is the next LMG you unlock whilst playing the support class. Uh, the Bren gun has war one floor that you can probably see and that's the magazine. It takes up quite a large portion of the right hand side of your screen. But with that being said, let's check out the specs and the stats for this weapon. For the specializations on this gun, I personally went full right side. I think this is the best way to set it up. Um, so the first specialization you'll get is Porter Barrel, which makes it uh, which reduces your horizontal recoil which reduces obviously that wiggle you get when you're aiming down sight and firing which is generally the hardest type of recoil to control um, and that being said the next we will take Porter Barrel which is the same thing as the KE-7 it just makes it more accurate when you're standing still and uh, then we, we, have to, we have to go for quick aim which is not a bad thing because we'll be using a three times scope on this. Well, I use a three times scope on this gun. I think it's probably the best for the role that it serves. And with that being said, um, I should make a quick note that with the KE7, I prefer using the AA sights. Um, but then again, sight is your preference, your choice. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I should also mention that every LMG also has a bipod. So. Obviously, you can use the 3X as well on the KE7, and I know quite a lot of people do. Um, the basically the best time to use the bipod on any LMG, in my opinion, is to have it propped up on a bit of cover if you're in a firefight. I wouldn't necessarily go prone to use it, but use it if you can, just not all the time. Anyway, okay, enough about that. Let's uh, go back to specializations. Um, 
So the next socialization you would get is the quick aim. Basically, it does well. It just reduces the aim down sight, which is good because we're using a 3x and magnified optics have a slower aim down sight speed. So taking the quick aim, or we have to take the quick aim with the 3x, is just a great general bonus overall. And then finally, the last one. Um, you can go for the improved bipod or high velocity bullets. I generally don't use the bipod that often, so I don't see the point in taking the improved bipod. It just increases your accuracy whilst bipoded. Um, I go for the high velocity bullets because it makes it much easier to hit moving targets at range. It increases your um, bullet velocity of from 740 up to 840. So hitting moving targets at range is relatively easy with this specialization. So, all I can say, other stats-wise, is that Bren only, has, uh, Bren only has a rate of fire of 514 rounds per minute. So, I wouldn't take this gun into close quarters necessarily. I would definitely use it in the more mid-to-long range combat. As you can see in the footage behind me, I'm playing Breakthrough on the new Pacific Storm map. And I'm trying to stay at those mid-to-long range combats. And it just absolutely destroys people. Um, what else can I say about this weapon is if you keep it to its strengths, which is mid to long range support fire, it only has 30 rounds a minute, relatively fast reload of, let's have a look here, it was 2.5 tactical, so that's if you still have bullets in the chamber, and then a 3.7 when it's completely empty, which is still faster than the KE-7 will remind you. So... For me personally, I think the Bren gun is actually probably one of the best light machine guns. If you want something which is good for medium to long range and more of a supportive weapon than, say, the KE-7, which is more inclined to close quarters. Okay, but with that being said, we'll be moving on to the next gun which you can unlock in the support class, which is the Lewis gun. So, it's time for the Lewis gun. The Lewis gun was also in Battlefield 1, but here in Battlefield 5, it is literally a completely different beast. Stock, the Lewis gun has 47 rounds in its magazine, um, which is the highest of any LMG in the game. And you can even increase this even further up to 97 with the specializations, but we'll go into that in a little bit. Uh, the Lewis gun has a rate of fire of 539 rounds per minute, which is not particularly slow, but not particularly fast either. Um, couple that with like the low recoil across the board, the Lewis gun is just a great all-rounder. And although it did get a slight nerf in the last update, the Lewis gun is definitely the most versatile gun in the game, in my opinion. So, for the specializations. For the first specialization, I went for high velocity bullets, which was to increase the bus bullet velocity from uh, 740 up to 840. So it's the same as the brain gun, uh, basically. Um, so here it gets very interesting because it doesn't matter really what side you go from now on. So you can either go for ported barrel or slings and swivels. Um, so slings and swivels basically makes you be able to swap uh, weapons faster, but also readies your gun faster when you come out of sprinting. And potty barrel just reduces the horizontal recoil. So it's up to you which one you choose. I prefer the potty barrel because I prefer to make the newest gun a bit more accurate than spam. So next, depending if you took Sings and Swivels or Recoil Buffer, if you took Sings and Swivels, you can go for, you have to take the Extended Magazine, which gives you 97 rounds, which is nothing to sneeze at. Like, you can put so much lead down range, and considering it doesn't have an overheat, like the MMGs, it's amazing. Um, but I then went for the Barrel Bedding, which then again also increases your stationary accuracy so again I'm, I'm making it more of that laser like weapon and then finally there's I think there's only one choice which is recoil buffer to reduce the, uh, the vertical recoil even more it already has quite low vertical recoil but with this it makes it even lower uh, improved bipod like I say I don't really use the bipod very often I don't think it's all that useful um, so in the footage you can see I'm using 
uh, right, 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 left. But you can also use right, left, left, left for a similar result. It, it's up to you which one you choose. And I, that's what I really have to say about the Lewis gun. It's just a great all-rounder. And I would highly recommend giving it a go. And next we'll be looking at the FG42. So, the FG42 is next on the list. This LM this is the LMG that you want for close quarters combat. It has a blazing rate of fire of 670 rounds per minute, the fastest firing LMG in the game currently. However, it only has 20 rounds in a box magazine. So, you have to place your shots well and you have to be, let's say, on your toes with this weapon. Um, so, when you, because there's no specializations to increase the magazine size for this one. So, the specializations I chose for this one is to go full right side. Um, I think it gives it the best overall performance. So, without further ado, those specializations are, num for number one, uh, you want custom stock. Uh, this basically increases your aim, aim down sight accuracy whilst you're moving around, which is ideal. This is exactly what you want if you want to be running around, like getting one to two targets. Uh, it basically, well, I say it increases your accuracy, it basically reduces the penalty you get for moving and shooting. Um, so, number two would be then. Barrel bedding, which again increases your accuracy while standing still and shooting, which is great because now you have both best of both worlds. If you can get yourself into a position behind the enemies, you're going to get more accuracy for standing still and shooting them than you would be if you were moving. And then next, you have to take Porter Barrel, which I think is fantastic because it Porter Barrel reduces your horizontal recoil. And I think this gun has a lot of horizontal recoil. I think it actually has the most horizontal recoil out of all the LMGs in the game at the moment. So reducing that is pretty darn good. And then the last one you can choose is up to you. I prefer lightened stock which allows you to move faster whilst aim down sight. Which is great because pair that with custom stock where you get increased accuracy for moving. You can move faster and you're still accurate. Which means you can be, you can land your shots on target whilst being a harder target to hit. Or you could choose the bayonet. Obviously, you can have some bayonet memes. It's is what it is. But for me, this gun absolutely shines in close quarters combat. I hope the footage in the background does that justice. Is although I was playing breakthrough on quite a wide open map, I was picking my engagements. I was getting in close to the enemies and taking one to two targets at a time. You've got to be careful though because like I say it has 670 rounds per minute and you only get 20 bullets so you have to make your shots count. They are very, it can get very difficult if you miss a couple of shots. And also this is the LMG with the best hip fire in the game. You can actually spec it to have slightly better hip fire as well but Again, I think it performs slightly worse than if you just spec it to uh, aim down sight. It's an absolute beast. So, unlock this one. I believe it's actually the last LMG you unlock, um, which isn't a, which wasn't a Tides of War reward. So, I believe you can literally buy the next two light machine guns. Whereas this one, you actually have to get the support to rank ten. I want to believe, but it's either rank ten or rank twenty to unlock this one. I would highly recommend this one if you're playing some of the smaller game modes. But for now, we're going to move on to the next LMG, which is the LS26. I hope this one was good. So, the LS26. <clears throat> this was the first light machine gun to be added to the game after, like, uh, from Tides of War. And... It's kind of like the middle of the pack uh, LMG. It sports 599 rounds per minute, rate of fire, and a muzzle velocity of 800, which is nothing bad at all, that's for sure. However, like the FG42 we looked at previously, um, it only has a 20 round box magazine, and a sh but it also has a short reload, but you can't actually increase the amount of bullets this gun has. 
Uh, for the specializations, uh, first I took Quick Aim. I just think this is a slightly better option uh, than over Slings and Swivels, uh, which increases your uh, well decreases the time it takes for ready the gun. Um, second, I took Ported Barrel. I just think this is the best option here, uh, which reduces the horizontal recoil. Um, I think this gun has quite a lot of horizontal recoil, especially if you start trying to uh, shoot this gun at medium-ish range. Uh, because the other side, you could take Enhanced Grip, which basically increases your hip fire capabilities. But I don't think you should have to hip fire an LMG. Uh, they're not designed for that, and they generally have pretty bad accuracy in hip fire to begin with so i mean you can you, you can give it a go but i i personally think the best is to get rid of that horizontal recoil um so next because we took the ported barrel we have to take barrel bedding which increases your accuracy while stationary which i think is fantastic it's great for light machine guns it's what you want to be doing you want to be support firing so you want to Sort of be at that close to mid range, you want to stand and you want to shoot your targets. Um, and then finally, you have a choice here. You can either go for custom stock, which increases your accuracy whilst moving, which is good, or you can go for vert uh, recoil buffer, which reduces your vertical recoil. I personally think that the recoil buffer is ever so slightly better because this gun has quite a lot of vertical recoil, like most of the other machine guns. Uh, so I would recommend that. As to this gun, I just think it's okay. It's a middle of the run. It sits in between the others, but I would find it difficult to choose this weapon over, say, something like the FG42 in close quarters, or say the Bren gun for those longer to medium range combat. I just think this gun needs a little bit of love from Dice. Would, it's not a bad gun by any means. I just think it could be that a little bit better. I won't go into any detail about things like the um, the sights because that's personal preference at the end of the day. I, as you can see, I use the AA sights. I think the AA sights are actually some of the best sights in the game. And again, they have every LMG has the bipod. You can bipod it to gain that little bit extra accuracy and recoil reduction, but. I have a hard time recommending this gun to a newer player or anyone in general. I think if you were going to pick the LS26, I would say look at the Bren gun or the FG42 first, or even the Lewis gun. I think the Lewis gun, again, is the most versatile light machine gun. I think it's probably the best light machine gun in the category for everything. But we're talking about the LS26. So, you have some trade-offs with this gun. I don't think it's bad. You can certainly do well with it. Um, I kind of, I actually quite enjoy using it from time to time. But again, you have to figure out what role you want to play. And this one has a very specific role, and therefore, you should try and use it as effectively as possible in that role. Otherwise. You're not going to have the best time, let's just say that. But finally, we're talking about another gun. Um, the last light machine gun in the category, which is the Madsen MG. So, the Madsen MG was the latest LMG to be added to the support class. This gun is actually quite a little different to the others. This is due for the fact that the Madsen only has a max damage of 23, but only drops off to 20, meaning it's a 5 foot kill at all ranges whereas the others start at 25 damage and drop off to around 19 so their kill ranges are four shot kill close quarters medium ranges five shots and long ranges six also the Madsen has the same rate of fire um, as the Bren at 514 uh, but also ha but has a higher bullet velocity of 780 Com couple that with the lowest amount of recoil of any LMG in the game currently you have a mid to long range beast, pretty much. However, this weapon only has 25 bullets stock, so you can see that in the gameplay behind you. Um, so let's go into specializations, because you can change it to specializations. 
Uh, specializations for this gun is completely your choice. It doesn't really matter which side you go. Um, I decided to go for the full right hand side, but, and I'll explain why now actually. Um, so I've gone for a quick aim, so it just allows you to ADS the weapon faster. I've gone for the custom stock. Uh, so you get the better accuracy whilst moving, or reduced penalty whilst moving and shooting. Um, better, uh, then I go for barrel bedding, which increases your accuracy whilst stationary. And then finally I've gone for the portal barrel to remove more of that horizontal recoil, making it flat. Although, you can go right side or a mixture of the two. Um, like I said, if you want an extended magazine, it's on the left hand side of the tree and it gives you 40 rounds instead of 25 but the problem with this is it's a banana mag and it literally takes up most of your screen so you actually lose a lot of visibility to do so and I don't necessarily think you need it um, this gun is designed I think it's designed for you know to engage maybe one or two people because it has low DPS low recoil having those extra 15 bullets isn't really going to do you any favor favors really it already has quite a short reload time of around 2.6 seconds whilst you have bullets in the mag and 3.83 when it's completely empty oh well, like i say the choice is yours here but that's all I can really say for the brain gun. I can't really recommend this one over some of the others. It's just... It's lacking in some regard. But that was the uh, Madsen MG. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. So if you managed to make it this far into the video, I want to thank you very much. And please feel free to leave a comment or ask questions. I'm happy to help. And... Yeah, just subscribe if you like the content and until next time, I will see you guys later.